What's up guys and welcome to a follow-up video. I recently watched back what I recorded in the restaurant. I don't know if you think you can call it a restaurant. In the place where I had some food just now. And I'm reminded about a point that I didn't make. And what I want to talk about is breaking up a happy family or breaking up a happy couple. I've read things to say that you better make sure that it's worth it if you want to do that. I've met people where that has happened and it doesn't seem the right way to go about things. It doesn't seem pure. Why am I talking about this? Well, I guess I had this whole idea, this whole secret plot, or this kind of fantasy where for this girl that I'm chasing, who does have a boyfriend where something would happen and I would take the boyfriend's place. It's pretty clear just by feeling, not really getting any response from her, from her but just by feeling that that isn't going to happen and she's probably going to get her happily ever after. And then, referring back to today, I was reminded, uh, as, as my friend told me, that she has a boyfriend. That's the thing. I have a problem. I like girls, period. And probably I try to... I try too hard, you know, I try and play it cool, but the vibe is still there. Mm. So referring back to my friend, <clears throat> did I really want to, did I really want to break up a happy home? No. With her, I find that, well, I sense after our conversation today that we could be good friends, close friends. And that's something really rare in my life to have close friends. I believe MJ said the same thing, where he can't count the number of close friends he has on one hand. That wasn't really like a pity statement or anything. But on reflection, it's kind of true. How many true friends do you have? I mean, you've got people you hang out with. And you got your peers and you got your classmates. But how many true friends who understand you, constructively criticize you, support you, are there for you? The list goes on. But how many of those do you really have? For me personally, mm, See, I'm thinking of a few people, but they don't really tick all those boxes of what I just listed. It's not their fault. I guess I regard friendship at a really, really high state 
Why? Because I feel that there needs to be some give and take. And most of the time, I'm giving way too much. And they're taking way too much. So there's no balance. So what's my point here? Today's opened my mind to think that maybe on a level it is possible to be friends with a girl and not be any kind of romantic connotations, any kind of romantic motives behind that friendship. I'm not talking about uh, a girl's gay best friend here. I'm talking about platonic relationships. Maybe it is possible. Just I know that God designed man in order to desire woman, in order for us as a race, as a human race, to continue to survive. Without reproduction, we would be extinct. Friend zoned? No, it's not a case of that. Knowing her, I've only known her for in length of time, maybe less than two days, probably even less than a day. So I can't really have any judgment over that. It's not really fair. Going back to breaking up, breaking up a happy home. <coughs> Part of me still wants to hold on to a few grains of sand. Part of me still believes that it is possible for reasons that I've dreamt about it. And I feel it deep within me. I could be confusing those feelings for something else. But it's just really hard to accept, you know? Even if someone does tell you to your face. Whenever I sit in front of a camera and talk, I'm not really sure what's going to come out. But I do know that I strive to be and act the way that I truly should express myself. As Bruce Lee said, this is a very, very hard thing to do. Not lying to oneself. The concept is there. And it's something to strive for. Let's wrap this up. Otherwise, I'm just going to be waffling forever and ever. And I still have homework to do. It's past midnight, so I kind of need to get that done. <clears throat> Breaking up a happy home isn't worth it. There's too many girls in the world. And can't really get hung up over one girl in the entire world. Even if you feel that that is your only one. So the next sentence is going to be hypocritical. But who said that anything in my videos need to have a direct line? However, 
in the pit of your stomach, if you still feel, if you still feel that there is hope, that there is a chance, that you know it's just right, and that you know it's going to happen because of some unexplained energy that you feel, then you can't fully let go. So, really, is there a happy medium here? Probably not. At least I haven't figured out what place my mind should be for that happy medium. So, we'll wrap this up there and leave it at that. I'm going to go do my homework now and you guys should either eat some breakfast or get some sleep or do some homework. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. GGPO.